Happy New Year! Yes, I'm a little late, but that's because I've been a little busy making people and not sleeping. <laughs> While I doubt I'm going to get any of your attention, I am still going to make this video response because why not? <laughs> it's been really fun. 2014 was a great year for the ladies and everybody knows it. By ladies, you mean feminist, right? Except for Rex Murphy in his year-end column in the National Post, where he claims that 2014 was a crappy year for feminism. Oh, so you do mean by feminism. <laughs> okay, that's great. We think Rex Murphy spent 2014 with his head trapped inside his foreskin. What do you mean, we? Are you referring to the child? Because the child can barely talk. I bet the child doesn't even understand what you're saying right now. How old is he or she? What, three, four months old at most? I mean, I think that's what Rex Murphy was saying in his column. I can't be sure because I had to first translate it into human and then decode it with a World War II Enigma machine. And then I put it in my toaster as well just to see if that would help. Is that bitch talk for I'm a feminist therefore I know everything? <laughs> it didn't. Come on, dude. 2014 was a great year for the vaginas, and everybody knows it. Gosh, we already have one YouTuber who's worshipping the fucking vagina. We don't need two. Even my little girl here, she knows it, and she spent most of 2014 inside me. There's a joke about that, but I'm not gonna sink that low. What's that, Ray? Rex Murphy. She's really good at the program, mommy. Rex Murphy is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, mommy. Wow. And here I thought that fuck hate under the name of feminism would use children in order to promote an ideology. Now you're speaking out for a child under the name of feminism. Who, by the way, is no older than, what, three or four months old? Good one. Let's see, he pokes fun at Beyonce for shaking her booty. Yes, the same Beyonce that supported the fucking idea that we should ban the word bossy because little girls can't handle the idea of being called bossy. My prediction for 2015, more stupid feminist causes. We saw a whole doozy of them in 2014. First, the hashtag activists set about to make George Orwell proud with the ban bossy campaign. Celebrities like Beyonce threw her weight behind the campaign to ban the word bossy. The idea is that girls are less interested in leadership because they're worried about being called bossy. So it's kind of insulting to imply that girls are this weak that they can't overcome the torture of a word. They just want to ban the word altogether. Despite the trauma of being called bossy when they were younger, all of the women featured in the campaign turned out to be incredibly successful in their own right. So it's less about protecting weak little girls and more about limiting thought, totalitarian state style. Meanwhile, the Iraqi parliament was preparing to pass a new law that would legalize rape, prohibit women leaving the home without the permission of their husband, and legalizing marriage to nine-year-old girls. There was no multi-million dollar feminist media blitz to bring attention to this situation, nor did Beyonce back some heavy PSA to put pressure on the government of Saudi Arabia over their characterization of female drivers as potential terrorists. He mocks the French for speaking out against gender-specific toys. And there's nothing wrong with gender-specific toys. Really, it's nothing wrong. It's just marketing. In light of bigger women's issues, I guess, like rape and violence. He has a point. But the thing is, all of these issues are wrapped up in the same big bullshit burrito. Speaking out against gender-specific toys that limit little girls to certain roles? That's not stupid, Rex Murphy. That's important, because... Wow, I've never heard such great amount of stupidity ever. Toys are somehow limiting girls to certain gender roles. Society is not forcing little girls to become little princesses in the same way that we're not forcing boys to become massive super soldiers. Most little girl tends to focus on playing with little dolls and baking cake and stuff. 
It's not sexism, it's no fucking patriarchy, it's just that little girls tend to like this sort of stuff. In the same way that boys tend to play with video games and stuff. I don't see why we should create gender neutral toys just to fit your own fucking egos. We learn how to treat women in childhood when we're playing with toys. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! And Beyonce, yes, she's bootylicious, big whoop, she shakes her ass and doesn't ask for permission. The thing is, when someone like Beyonce declares she's a feminist, she helps make feminism cool again for young people who have been led to think that feminists are man-hating women with hairy armpits and hairy ball sacks. So it's far more important to look cool and hip than to actually help women around the world to get equality? I mean, holy shit! I guess Beyonce shaking her own ass might cure cancer as well. One second while I scratch my hairy ball sack. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! And by the way, Beyonce, she's more than just a bodacious badonka donk. She also wrote a pretty kick-ass feminist article last year, but I guess you didn't read that one either, Mr. Murphy, did ya? Inside your foreskin. My god. I've seen better insults from a third grader than from you. And besides, you know what? He's focusing on all the wrong things that happened last year. Uh, hello, Malala won the Nobel Peace Prize at age 17. When I was 17, I was picking cigarette butts off the street and smoking them. Wow, that is completely pathetic, but what does this have to do with feminism? Granted, it's a girl winning the Nobel Peace Prize, but it has nothing to do with feminism. Emma Watson spoke before the United Nations about the importance of gender equality and how we need men as well as women to support feminism in order for it to do all of us good. And so many YouTubers have destroyed Emma Watson's speech. Emma Watson is 24 years old. When I was 24, I wanted to be a fucking Spice Girl. The movie Frozen featured, for the first time, a feminist hero without a manly prince. And by the way, that movie was made entirely by women and is now the highest earning animated flick of all time. That movie was created in 2013. Late 2013, but still in 2013. And once again, this has nothing to do with feminism. All it is, it's just a simple movie that made a lot of fucking cash. Keep in mind that most Disney princesses come from books. How do you like them apples? Ooh, and my favorite right now? Facebook. Stop censoring breastfeeding photos. Recognizing that women's bodies are not inherently gross and obscene. We're going to post some sweater meat pictures later. That's just a handful of things that happened last year. There are a million more. Yes, things are far from equal. And yes, we still have a long way to go. There are horrific things happening all over the world. Yes, terrible things that are happening around the world. And yet the likes of Beyonce is far, far too busy shaking her fucking ass in the name of feminism. Because according to her, it's far more important to focus on a single word that needs to be banned for the sake of women's ego than to actually help women around the world try to get equality. What a load of shit. But guess what? We're still making progress because we're revealing the truth and we're talking about it finally. Take the red pill! Take the red pill! And that in itself is progress. The funny thing with progress is, it can be seen as a threat by those too weak to embrace it. If what you believe is truly, quote unquote, progress, then the KKK is doing a far better job. But no ads about Rex Murphy's article in the National Post because most people didn't have a clue what he was talking about anyway. Most people don't have a World War II Enigma machine like I do. Translation from bitch talk, I'm a bitch. And there's your fucking ending. Thought it would never end. And you know, I think this person is a whore. 
But not in the sense that this person has slept with a whole bunch of men in order to get pregnant. Although, I wouldn't be shocked if she actually did that in the sake of being a mother. However, she is a whore because she's using her own child in order to promote herself in the name of feminism. That is so fucking pathetic. So, until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game out.